When you have somebody coming forward saying he will raise the wages of nurses, he will abolish tuition fees in schools, he will raise minimum wage, build one million homes, half of them social housing. This is significant. There are many children living in great poverty in Britain. Wrong, immoral and unnecessary. People have started to say, this makes sense. We are ready to offer real, strong and stable leadership in the interests of the many, not the few. We want this campaign has brought together people in a way that I've never experienced before in politics. This election is about you! People who were never even interested in politics before are being drawn into it because of him. He's getting teenagers interested in politics. Teenagers queuing up to get to his meeting. When you invest in young people, you invest for the future of all of us. People from all sorts of different backgrounds and walks of life. And you know what's brought them together? Hope. I think Corbyn's very sound. Do you think Labour could get into power with Jeremy Corbyn? Yeah. I do. Jeremy Corbyn, big time. I like the idea of people telling the truth. I call the leader of the opposition, Mr. Jeremy Corbyn. Yeah. Labour is not merely an opposition, Mr. Speaker. We are a government in waiting. Austerity must be brought to an end. of conservative rule has left wages falling, inflation rising, the pound falling, personal debt rising and the economy slowing. We can stand up to the elites and to the cynics. Our position is very clear. We want a jobs first Brexit. Democracy is a wondrous thing and can throw up some very unexpected results. He lost, he won. We just got ourselves a strong and stable opposition and that is the best democratic result you could ask for. She started this campaign with the highest approval rating of any Prime Minister since year fuck knows and the country wakes up to this. Hope that we can give our health service, our schools, our police, our social care the money they need and deserve and need it now. All you fuckers who gave him a vote of no confidence, well, I got confidence now. It's time to finally get behind your leader because the country just did that and Jeremy Corbyn is now the most powerful politician in the country because of a democratic vote. It's time we got our collective unity back and that begins now. Support Corbyn, keep the best of Britain and that's what we're standing for now. Let's look to build a world of human rights, peace, Justice and democracy. The people of this country deserve something better. See you later, Theresa. Just shut the door on the way out.